can just see all this water coming up my driveway flow in that direction maybe I need to put a swell right in here to catch all that so looking at all this water coming down my driveway here looks like it kind of pulls right here stops at the wood chips and then it backs up a little bit and starts going this direction where I don't have any wood chips so the wood chips are kind of acting as a uh, that barrier and then over here I see more puddling where I don't have wood chips and it's kind of driving the water that direction so wood chips there wood chips here and then a river flows through it we've received another two inches some hard fast rain came home during lunch I'm gonna go check my new swell out there let's see the wood chip trail here and on either side there's a pretty good puddle of standing water This looks about like it did yesterday. Try not to fall in. Ducking all these low hanging mesquite trees. Oh look, here's my uphill swell. And here's the sill. like maybe I need to dig a little bit more of a trench to allow that to overflow because that looks pretty full there and this has a little bit more room to go up would have thought about it I would have brought a shovel that'll let that go in there Relieve this swell a little bit. It was just a couple days ago where I said I look forward to the day where these are filled up so it'll feel like I've got a little stream going through my property and here we are and it's already happening. There's the channel that goes up to the road, full today. I see it's overflowing into this swell, so it's doing its job there. I'm 
Nice. I got mud all over my phone. Dang it. Well, this is what I wanted here. Back at the other end of the swale, uh, I plan on taking this that direction towards my other fence. And judging by how much water is kind of sitting right here, I think it'll collect a nice amount of water. 